Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Bivol versus Ramirez fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Bivol is 20-0 with 11 KOs and Ramirez is 44-0 with 30 KOs. This fight is for the WBA Super World Light Heavyweight belt in which Bivol currently holds. Ramirez's last fight was a win via KO in round 4 versus Bozell. Bivol's last fight was a win via decision versus Canelo, in which Bivol was a huge underdog. I mean, it makes sense. It's Canelo, like, he is one of the proven best fighters in the world, and one of the pound for pound best. And so, for Bivol to be able to get the win, even though Canelo was going up a weight, it's still a very remarkable task for him to do. Bivol is a very technical boxer, which he did display in that last fight against Canelo, which was one of the main reasons why he managed to get the victory. Another one being that he is very patient and a disciplined fighter, and so both of them things are very important, especially against somebody like Canelo, who really will invite you forwards and then counterpunch you out of there. But Bivol stood his ground and waited and took his time with his punches and knew when to throw and when not to throw and didn't go rushing in and kept his head and that was very important for his win against Canelo. Ramirez has a has a great variety of punches. He's shown that in his last fights he is very gifted in the punches he'll throw so he'll find gaps where nobody even thinks there is gaps. And this is Ramirez's sixth world title fight after being the WBO World Super Middleweight Champion in 2018 and then moving up to the light heavyweight division. This is Bivol's 10th world title fight. Also on this card is Rakimov versus Barrett for the vacant IBF world super featherweight belt, in which I think Barrett will win by TKO in round 9. I mean, he is a technical backup fighter for this fight, Barrett, but he has definitely shown that he's got the ability to be at this level, as even though Cordina was meant to be in this fight, it's he's definitely shown that he, be, he can be at this level and he can mix it at this level. And... Uh, I believe this might be his world, first world title fight, but yeah, he's definitely deserving of this shot. And I believe he'll be able to get the win. It'll be a very tough fight, but I think he'll be able to get the win. Obviously, Rakimov did get the singular draw against uh, Joseph Diaz. And I mean, of course, Joseph Diaz is a tough fight for anybody, but I believe that Barrett at the moment is going on the best four in his career. Obviously, he's got the one defeat, but he's coming off like a lot of wins in a row. And so I believe he'll be able to win. And then I've be and then I've heard today that the whoever wins is gonna fight Cordina. So I think Barrett versus Cordina will be a massive fight. Bivol is the favourite for the Bivol versus Ramirez. So I'm going back onto that. And I think that Bivol will win by unanimous decision. I don't think he'll be able to get the stoppage because Ramirez is a very resilient guy, and I doubt he'll be able to get the stoppage as. Bivol will probably just outbox him and outskill him and be more, like I said, patient. And so, the, yeah, I believe he'll be able to get the win against... I mean, it'll be a very tough fight as well. Ramirez is a very good fighter and is very deserving of this shot as well. I mean, obviously showing for his record, 44 wins and no defeats is, a, is an impressive feat. And then I think Bivol will go on to possibly fight Canelo again. Of course, Canelo is going to want to make up for the defeat that he got, but... Nobody knows if that's going to be next or maybe a bit further along down the line. And then, obviously, there's two big options, which I'd love to see. Two big fights. Obviously, there's other ones, but these are the two that I'd love to see. Uh, Buatzi would be a great option, which I'd love to see happen. Uh, or better be Ev if he wants to go for a kind of undisputed route. And, I mean, I don't know if that, that will ever happen or at least happen for the moment because I believe it's Sky and Matchroom. Uh, I think Sky is better be Ev. And, of course, Matchroom have Bivol, so I don't know if they'll be wanting to do that. But uh, Matchroom do have Boatsy, so that could be a fight that could happen down the line or next, possibly. I'd love to see that fight. Of course, the better be a fight would be amazing. That would be the fight to make, I'd say, uh, in the light heavyweight division. But you never know if that's really going to happen or not. Uh, obviously, I'd like it to happen. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Like the video if you didn't need like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.